नमस्ते गुरु परिवार्स हाउ आर यू आई एम आई थिंक वेरी टू योर प्लेसेस इन लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट व्हाट आर लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स आई हैड गिवन दैट टाइम ऑल द नेसेसरी दैट पॉइंट्स व्हिच आर इन्वॉल्व्ड इन दिस चैप्टर इट मींस दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द इंट्रोडक्शन what is the linear equation what is the meaning of equation what is variable and all things you can review that tomorrow you can see that also so today we will start with exercise 4.1 you can see on the board chapter 4 linear equation in two variables fine so here we go with the first question and question is the cost of a notebook is twice the cost of a pen right So 
what is a coefficient of x minus 2 and y is not here, y is not involved in this equation, so it means that coefficient of y will be 0, so b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 5. So this is the first exercise we have discussed. Now we move to push that second exercise. Let's begin exercise 4.2. Uh, first question is which one of the following option is true and why? Question is y is equal to 3x plus 5, that is y is equal to 3x plus 5 has first option, unique solution, only two solutions infinitely many solution. In the introduction, we have discussed that when the equation is having two variables, then the number of solutions in it will be infinitely. So here two variables are there and it is linear equation. So option third will be right. Third infinite Solutions are their reason because it is having two variables and is Now we have to find four solutions for the question of two and how can we find four solutions? Let's have a look. So it is 2x plus y is equal to 7. First I will give you that idea that first of all you make one of the variables separate alone in one side. So I will write y is equal to 7 minus 2x. We are working up ki jo y hai wap ka bil kura ki lo hai. Agar wap ka bil kura ki lo hai, suppose 5 hota. So better to take that 5 in the right hand side. So now y is equal to 7 minus 2x. Now you can give any number of solutions. Here the question is asked. How many solutions? Four solutions. The solution is that when LHS becomes equals to 
or actress, then that time, that value of x and y is the solution, or the value of the variable is the solution of this. Let's discuss uh, the first part. I will discuss first part for you. So first part, first order here is zero comma two. In the chapter coordinate geometry, we have discussed that first part is for x. This is abscissa, and this is y. That is all we need. So our x is zero and y is two. So first of all, we find that x side. X minus two y, so x is zero minus two into two y is two. Zero minus four, so minus four. And what is R H S? Simply you can see that it is four. Now L H S is minus four and R H S is four. So minus four is it equal to four? Of course not. So therefore we will write. LHS is not equal to RHS, so zero comma two is not the solution of given equation. So this was the first part of question number three. Let's discuss the fourth part. Of this question, right? Let's do it here. A little bit difficult for you. Maybe many of you are intelligent, and I think most of you can do easily. The order is root two and four root two. Let's check the solution for this. So first of all, we will write LHS. And on the left hand side is x minus 2y. So what is x? Root 2. So root 2 minus 2 into root 2 is y. 4 root 2. So it is root 2 minus 8 root 2. So how many root 2s are there? Only single and here 8. So if we subtract 8 from 1, so it will be negative minus 7 root 2. And Simply you can see that in the right hand side is 4. So here also left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Therefore, this is also root 2 comma 4 root 2 is also not the solution of this equation. So other parts I hope that you can do. Now it's fourth question. We have to discuss and it is also very simple. Till now you can find that all these questions which we have discussed till now in this chapter is very easy to understand. Four questions. The question is find the value of k if x is equal to 2. Y is equal to 1 is a solution of 2x plus 3y is equal to k. Please understand this. It is given that this is the solution. K is equal to 7. 
value of k will be 7. So today in this chapter we have discussed two exercises 4.1 and 4.2 and it's enough for today. Next time we will discuss exercise 4.3. Then we have to discuss about the graph.